Yeah, it just reminded me that <clears throat> that dualism, as it relates to kind of body soul separation, again seeing the parallels there with transgenderism, is like my body doesn't define me. Like my mm-hmm. true knowledge of self is outside my body, and I I will right. determine that. And it it does have that kind of manichaeanistic. Oh, absolutely. No, that's streak. a really good point. And that's um, I remember. Yeah, we we talked about this in our um sexual ethics class uh, when I was in seminary, but how transgenderism is kind of a form of uh, dualism. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, the, the the matter of my body, right? Like yeah. my body cannot tell me anything about who I am or reality, right? right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so you divorce the material from the spiritual, uh, you yeah. know, in a sense. Right, like, right. You what know, they like, define as yeah, the spiritual. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so it's like this, this matter doesn't tell me anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it is almost like a flight from matter in a really extreme way. Yeah, you would think that you would think that those you know who are trying to undermine Christianity would be more materialistic, right? But yep. in transgenderism, mm-hmm. you see the exact opposite. Yeah, it's like this reemergence. Yeah, of the spirit. it's so strange. Yeah. yeah, that's what Schellenberg said on Joe Rogan mm-hmm. that the gender was the new soul, mm-hmm. right? For, yeah, yep, exactly. for yep. the secular person, right? Yep. Um, that there's, and then Peterson also talked about this. But it's been a long question, I think, that Christians have had for transgenderism: is what exactly is out of place? I am not my body. It's like, well, then what are you? Then what are you? Yeah. Like, what, what, what is this thing that is right. at odds with your body? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Is it just is it your consciousness? Is it your yeah. mind? Or it, it seems like they're appealing to some soul that my yeah, yeah. soul is trapped mm-hmm. in the wrong body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think that that's when you, uh, when you want to control reality to such an extent deny like what has been given you have to divorce yourself from the material yeah you have to like because it's i mean like if you were to if you were to just just say like yes matter can tell me about reality then you are subservient to Mm -hmm. reality Mm -hmm. and and right then you you start to accept as you should (laughs) you start to accept that like this is the the hand that I've been dealt, you know, right. going back to what we were yeah. talking about earlier. Um, yeah, that's the, I mean, that's the weird parallel. Like you could connect something like uh, transgenderism to communism, you know, and that it's like your rejection of reality. That's the whole the pitch of capitalism is that like this is how reality functions mm-hmm. in the best sense. Um, of course, there's going to be corruption and we should correct that and respond accordingly. But you can't just force its hand into an economic system that you come up with that is completely contrary to how reality works. Yeah. And so the parallel to transgenderism is like you feel imposed by reality and you're trying to force its hand to, to be different. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very, it's very weird to be, to think about how that is all related. Cause it does seem like this transgender stuff just came out of left field. Yeah. I mean, no pun, but like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really left yeah. field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's been, it's interesting. Because it has been a topic for a little while. First Things, uh, you know, the magazine, First Things, they released an article back in 2016 talking about the the metaphysical implications yeah. of transgenderism as, as sort of like the last like mm. neo-Gnostic kind of like liberal mm-hmm. bastion. The, the last, the final frontier is liberation from the body. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah it wasn't exactly. just, yeah. it wasn't just male and female necessarily yep. it does you know they don't necessarily uh they're not complementary yep. it wasn't just that it wasn't just marriage but it mm-hmm. was i can transcend my body wow that's very actually yeah, yeah. that's fascinating because on, at the same time like while you have this whole transgenderism um uh, movement you also have like on the tech side of things like things like uh brain chips Mm-hmm. And like uploading your consciousness and and you know being able to fix any ailment of your body. Yep. Um. You know, like Elon Musk was talking about his Neuralink. Yep. Like you know, we can make blind people see. You know, mm-hmm. um, someone who's been paralyzed, we can yep. actually rewire their nervous system with this. And so it's like it's all about this transcending yep. the body. Andrew Clavin just had a guest on talking about her book, I believe. I don't remember her name. I wish I could. Um, I'm well, we have it. laptops. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna find <laughs> it. But uh, she was talking about, like, she briefly mentioned, like, he he didn't talk about this, but she briefly mentioned that how that there's a link uh, between, uh, kind of, what did she say? Like the feminist movement, uh, contraception, and abortion being linked to cyborgs. 
And like, yeah. there's a connection there. <laughs> and that like, you know, women say like, I can be liberated as from my body yeah. if only I do this. If I take these artificial artificial medications yeah. and I do these uh, medical procedures, then I become truly myself, right. which is un, like like a man, yeah. <laughs> essentially, mm-hmm. you know, like rejecting the, the female function. Um, and she's like, that's, that's, that opens the door to this whole cyborg epidemic that's yeah. going to happen with AI chips and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And that's like, I mean, you look at like sci-fi literature, like the best of sci-fi literature is um is all about like, yeah, like these cyborgs who like take over the world mm-hmm. and they're like, uh, like, like they're, they're like transcendent human beings, right? Like they have humanoid figures and they're obviously more powerful and enlightened, but they, they are always an enemy to mankind. Always. Right. Because it's not mankind. Like it's not yeah. human nature. That's, that's why they're so. banned in Dune, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 AI and robots. That's they're, right. They're mm-hmm. banned um, yeah. because of this problem. A friend of mine just before we recorded uh, sent me an article from the New York Times uh, about the possibility there was an author saying that by the end of the year, he hopes to have some sort of way to upload consciousness to some sort of hard uh, or some sort of a server that way mm-hmm. you can keep your loved ones alive essentially after they die. Right. Yeah. So again, this uh, uh, this like not only not only people having relationships with AIs now chatbots, yep. but now it's they're hoping that we can keep the dead alive. Yeah, that's crazy through machines. Yeah, and this is um, it's I mean this shows like an innate an innate human desire. To overcome death, mm-hmm. uh, and to yeah, and to live forever, and it's, like, it's the promise of Christianity ultimately. Uh, yeah, um, right. But in, in a in a um, like untethered secular way, mm-hmm. essentially. Well, um, right. That's that's what I saw it as is just like a, another impulse or instinct to religion yeah. being channeled through technology. Yeah, and, and, and because like you know, uh, uh, fundamentally, Christians do hope to transcend the body. Uh, right. You know, a, 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 insofar as our bodies are corrupt and they die now, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, right. And and that's 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 what we celebrate at the resurrection of Christ on Easter, is that He has defeated death, and now His glorified body is, it, it's it's a body that's different in a sense than His old body, but it's the same body, right? And so there is a sense of transcendence and and, and perfection yeah. that He has um, brought, right. and He wishes to give to all mankind. Yeah. 